Hello, welcome to another video. Guys, we are back on the garden house and today is an important D-Day for me as far as getting a lot of these projects done. So we picked up a load of bits today. We've got skirting boards to do. We got to tidy up the bits of loose plumbing ends. We've got, what else have we got? Some lights to put outside as well, which we're adding to the outside of the building. Um, there's door frame architrave to put on. There's also a door to change. I am going to be changing the door, guys. So I'll explain that to you in a minute. Um, and also, yeah, just loads of little bits. You've got sockets to put on and a few bits in here and there. So yeah, I'm going to crack on. So for you guys who did not see the last video, the floor has been laid. As you can see, it's looking great. It's looking beautiful. Loving it. Um, yeah, that's the floor there. There's a little few pieces to do inside the cupboard, but I just need to clear out the stuff that I'm going to be working in there, and then I'm going to finish a few little bits and edges in the, in the cupboard. So I'll do that today as well. But the first thing we're going to do is going to be skirting board and get all the skirting boards on. We've got architrave to put on here, but before I do that, I'm going to change the door. So I know many people have said about the door it didn't look right. I, I agree. I, I thought it didn't look right, and it was bugging me. Why doesn't it look right? Why is it not level? Then I went and checked the order of the door frame and realized that the door frame was for a 786 door and I bought a 7, sorry, 686 door and I bought a 762. So the door is basically too wide, which is why it's not going all the way in. Uh, so it's almost sort of 10 mil or so out. So that's the reason why it's like that. I have picked up a door. I picked up a different door as well. So hopefully we're not going to have the same issue I had with my first door. So this is the third door that I am doing at my own cost. But you know, for us, it's important. We do our best on whatever we do. So I picked up a third door and I'm going to change that as the first job. Um, someone was asking about this trim and that. Why isn't it not mitered here? 45 and all that. This actually comes like this. It's hard to tell, but it actually has a... Uh, it's designed this way, it comes already fit, um, pre-cut, and it's actually, uh, I can't remember what the word is now, but basically these two pieces uh, join together. So this sort of a, this is sort of cut, and then and then this one's cut, and then they sort of sit on, that's how it is. But there's an architrave, I'm gonna put an architrave on top of this, so it's gonna cover this. All you're really gonna see of the wood is that part. Um, so that's why that's like that.
up day. We've been busy, 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 busy. The guys have just left. I've just finished the last bit of flooring in there. I've just got a little bit of skirting board to put on. We've put in all the skirting boards. And these gone in and corked everything, as you can see. All these skirting boards are all done. All around there, all around there. We've done the architrave on this side. He's also put some undercoat on that as well. Um, we did this little bit here. I've tiled it, a little bit of trim there. Um, He's given this all sort of an undercoat, so I'm gonna give this another coat again, because uh, I'm staying a bit late today. Also did a little bit of tile down the bottom there, sort of like a skirting of the same green tile, just coming up 100 mil around the edge there, and that's pretty much done, that done. Nothing else in the shower done. Um, but yeah, this is basically the architrave. This was the original uh, frame kit, and it's the architrave that we put on it. And uh, yeah, it's all undercoated. Also, we've put on some lights as well, some down lighters outside, nice low profile ones. You can see there's one here, and I've also got one in there as well. And uh, we've also got two down here as well on the wall. So that sort of lights up this little pathway here, so it'd be nice. I'm um, excited to see what it looks like once it gets a little bit darker. darker. Um, yeah, I think they'll do the job. So it's looking like here. And let's see if we can see all of them from here. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, looking nice. Hi, guys, we're done for today. I'm off. It's late. Time to go. Um, yeah, so a good productive day. Just lots and lots of little bits done. The bits that take time that you don't really see and, and appreciate. But yeah, we just sort of been doing a lot of that small little bits and stuff. The guys have gone home. I've just finished and I uh, just cleared up. Um, so yeah, let's check uh, and have a look what we did. Also, another important thing that we did was this controversial door. It's come out really good. It just needs to be painted. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, uh, it's a more sort of, I guess, modern design, I guess goes more with the house. So yeah, thanks for those who had the shout out. I know a lot of people did comment about the door. And, and particularly about the door closing and being off the wall to one side. I did notice it and I did was sort of I was sort of scratching my head, was like, why isn't this not fitting right? And to realise the door that I get what got was wider, it was too wide. So my error. Um but yeah, it looks good now. It doesn't go all the way in that and that's how it is. It stops there. Um but it's definitely gone in a bit more and it's definitely wider as far as getting inside. Um, so what I need to do now as well is to get a fresh hold uh, to fit across there, just to finish the join between the two. Uh, now these are set up, they covered all this stuff, he's masked up all these things. And uh, yeah, good to go. All right, as I said, all the skirtings and done, architraves and all that, um, all ready for painting now. Uh, the bathroom, I've done another coat on this. As well, I've just literally just finished that now. So I think when Namdi comes, he's gonna give that one more coat and then we can sort of silicone everywhere all around. Um, and otherwise that's it done in here, just the silicone to do. And I just need to just fit the shower back on and put the put the holes on and then that's done. Um, in here is pretty much, uh, pretty much done really. I mean, it's a mess now because this is where I'm sort of storing everything. There's a little piece of skirting board and a few little tidy up bits to do there. Um, otherwise in here is pretty much done. The floor is done as well, all the way back, as you can see. Um, so I've got to um, I've got to do this wall now. Uh, I did get a call from them today. These tiles have been so hard to find some real good black brick slips. Really, really hard to find. I've got these from Wales and they called me um, today and they said uh, it should be with me on Friday. So Fingers crossed I get them on Friday. And um, I think it's probably gonna be a Saturday job for me. I'm going to come here and tile this wall with the brick slips. It's gonna be black and it's gonna be uh, sort of grouty in a sort of dark gray grout, black grout or something like that. Um, yeah, that's basically one one, but that's less really the main, the main other thing left to do in here. Um, but let's have a look quickly at the lights outside and see what they look like. 
these are the lights, light speeds. See? Looking nice. Nice little cute, cute ones. Um, this is what they look like. So they light out, out the front of the house quite nicely. And then the pathway is lit quite, quite nicely as well. These light up the, the pathway for the back door. There's one here, there's one obviously down there as well. Sorry, it is very noisy around here, the trains. Yeah, so this is the way I'll be going out. But yeah, I think they uh, come out quite nice. I like them. And finish off the house quite nice on the outside. Yeah guys, so that is pretty much it. As I said, I'm off now, shooting off, I'm going home. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope everyone has a good evening. And uh, we're gonna see you guys on the next one. So take care.